Hello, my name is Sherilyn Marlow and I'm the Liquid Product Specialist here at Yucky Gal. And I just want to take a moment and go over some of the most basic questions, three basic questions we have about um, when it comes to um, installing and maintaining their Bellomatic sensor. This is the one that's used most likely in high purity. So what you'll need, we're going to go over installation first and then refilling and we're sanding. So you'll need your holder. This is a cutout of our FF20. It'll hopefully work for us. You'll need the um, mounting portion of the Bellomatic and these two rubber o-rings that come with it and obviously your Bellomatic sensor. When you take your Bellomatic sensor out of its box, you're going to have three sets of paperwork that come with it. One is the instruction manual that shows all of this. One is the MSDS sheet for the KCL solution and one is an instruction card for um, sanding the junction that we we'll use later on. So the first thing you need to do when you take your Bellomatic out of its box is you need to remove this actually protective cover. It's a wet cover boot to keep the junction wet during shipment and storage. So just remove that. And notice there's a plug at the bottom that'll need to be removed later. So the first thing you can do is take your, um, these little rubber O-rings, stick them on. One goes on the bottom. One goes on the top. You can either slide it over or most time people just end up cutting it to make it a little easier so that they can, because it's a tight fit up over the cap. Um, or, whoop, as I undo it again, case the insulation everywhere, you can um, undo the cap and then slide it on and then put the cap back on either way. Idea, however you want to do it to get the rubber on the other top side of it, okay? So on your holder, you'll take off your electrode cover It'll come with a blind plug with two O-rings. You'll need those two O-rings. It'll come with a spacer, and it'll come with a cover. So basically on your holder, what you need to do, it comes in two parts. Screw it apart and take this part and those two O-rings that came on that blind cover, and it will just install into the FF20 or FS20 holder like that. The O-rings will not seat because it's a, or stay because it's a cutout, but basically the two O-rings will just seat right up underneath it just like that, okay? So you'll thread this in there with the two O-rings down in the hole. It's gonna work for me, okay? And then remember the two O-rings are seated up underneath here. Maybe I can get it so that... Okay, and then you'll need to unplug your reference electrode so that when you put it in your process and turn it on, there's flowing. And then you put the reference electrode through there. And then you put the cover over the top side of it. But you'll thread it down on there, and then the cable will connect here, it'll feed through there, and then you will thread the electrode cover on, and your Bellomatic is now installed into your process. Alright, so then now the next question that we get from people is how do I know when I need to actually refill my bellows, and how do I refill my bellows? Okay, because of the way that it is actually designed, it keeps overhead pressure, 10 PSI overhead pressure of KCL going into your solution, into your process all the time. And the way that's done is this the actual bellows, the expansion and contraction of the bellows. When they're compacted down here, that means there's KCL solution. Now, if I were to actually unscrew it, dump it out, you can see that the bellows are now fully expanded up. So now to refill it, all you need is some simple tools. We tell people use chopsticks, some people use the blunt end of an eraser of a pencil, and that's it. So you just take whatever blunt end, make sure it's blunt because you don't want to pop that bellows. If you puncture them, they're no good anymore. Compress it down, and you'll need to plug the bottom where it's actually coming out. So you either use the plug that came with the uh, probe during shipment, or some people who've used them for a while can use their finger and actually hold it. 
Basically, you're just sealing the plug so that the bellows stay contracted. Then you're going to refill it. You want to fill it all the way to the top. And some KCL solution, depending on how full you get it, may slip out once you put the cover back on. But this is the reference element, so you'll just put that back on. See, I had KCL solution slip over me. The air bubbles will work their way out. You just wipe it off unplug and reinstall and you're good to go. There's one more item that you'll need. Sometimes the junction will get clogged and you'll need to re-sand that junction. So basically in the box you had that bag that came with an instruction sheet and in that bag it comes with just a simple emery board. And this is just any like a nail filer that someone would use to file their nails. And basically at the very tip here is the junction and all you do is you physically, when we say sand it, take the emery board and just sand the junction down. And that way it just kind of reopens the junction and gets the flow going. And that is as easy as it is to maintain our bellomatic. So just let us know if you've got any questions.